the number two seeded and victorious Cyclones are with us. Uh, head coach TJ Otzenberger is with us and also Curtis Jones and Milan Mokchilovic represent the student body. We're going to ask TJ to start off with a statement on this game. Then we'll go to questions for all three participants for the Cyclones on the dais. TJ, please. Yeah, first of all, <laughs> hats off uh, to the Jackrabbits, to Coach Henderson, uh, to their team, to their players across the board. Um, they've got a tremendous program. They're very well coached, very well prepared. Um, they did some really great things from a scheme, <laughs> excuse me, my voice is shot, from a scheme standpoint <laughs> to spread us out. <coughs> um, just, you know, just can't say enough about the great job that they did, how well prepared they were. Um, as far as we things go for us, uh, we start fast, we come out of the box, we, we play off our defense, we pressure the ball. We did that to start the game. We did that in the second half to start the half. That's who we are and that's who we'll continue to be. And when we do that, we play at a really high level. Proud of how our guys shared the basketball. They're playing for one another, which is important. So overall fortunate uh, to come out with the win against a very good Jackrabbit team. Thank you. Questions? Start right here in the second row, Gina. Thank you. Tanner Castor, question for you, Coach. Obviously awesome to get a, a win in the tournament. Is it? Is there any sense of, I guess, bittersweet feeling doing it against a great friend? Yeah, I'm not. You know, didn't, didn't like the matchup when it came out. Didn't want to play against those guys. I care about a lot of people on their side and dear friends and, and, and you know, so yeah, I mean, there's that part of it that you don't love that. At the same time, um, proud of our guys. They've done the hard work. They've worked for it. They've, um, they've worked for this opportunity. We don't get to control who we play. Uh, we just need to be prepared and ready to rise to that challenge. I was proud of our guys for the job they did, you know, with that here tonight. <coughs> Workman, is there a water? Sorry. Yes, no, we'll get it. Don't worry. Question on the aisle. Thank you. This is for anybody. This is Sam McEwen from the Omaha World Herald. Just talk a little bit about the support you got from the crowd tonight. Uh, you know, they talked about it being Hilton West. It certainly seemed to be that, especially Sorry. in the first five minutes. Milan, we're going to start with you, and then Curtis will jump in. Uh, I mean, the crowd is great for us. It was great for us last week in Kansas City, and they brought it again tonight, and then they keep bringing it. Um, it just it helps us win games, honestly. Um, helps us with momentum, and we love we loved the fans. Yeah, I agree with Milan. Um, the crowd is great. They, bring, they give us energy, you know, when we need stops or when we're on a run, we can hear them. Or even before the game, like, they're super loud, and I feel like that gives us energy going into the game as well. Inside aisle right here. Uh, this is for you, Coach Alec Bussey, 24-7 Sports. Hassan has really come along here in the last <coughs> couple of days and weeks, I guess, on the offensive end. How much has his presence and ability to play above the rim helped you guys both in transition and in the half court? Yeah, it's helped immensely. He certainly had as big an impact on that game right when he came in as anybody did when they started their run. And, um, you know, those lobs and <laughs> the way he can go get them at 11 and a half, 12 feet, and our guys look for him is, is special. Uh, it's definitely given us an added dimension offensively in the flow and transition as well as in the half court. You know, when he screens and he's getting behind the defense, uh, it's not easy for a guard or others to try to help because he's just – he can go get it so so high up in the air. So it, it, it has really helped us and given us a, a whole new dynamic offensively. Jonathan Fernandez, Argus leader. Uh, this could be for all three of you guys, but uh, they started the second half with a 5-2 scoring run to cut their deficit to like four points, and then you guys rattled off, I believe, a 17-3 run after that. Just uh, what made the difference for you guys during that stretch where you really took control of the game? We'll have Curtis start off this time, and Milan will back him up. Um, I think we do a, a great job of not panicking, you know, when teams get close and make runs. It's been a lot of season now. I feel like we've been in that situation a lot of times, and, you know, it's the NCAA tournament now. 
even in the Big 12, every team is good. So you know they're not just going to go away. But if we focus on what we do every day, um, we believe we'll make a run just like they did. Uh, we really just need to find ourselves there, um, find ourselves on defense and get stops. And then we got some easy transition buckets, which really helped us. Um, and then the ball was moving on the offense and got some good shots. Matt Zimmer, Sioux Falls Live. TJ, um, this tournament obviously gets so much attention for its big upsets. Did you have a conversation with your guys at all during the week or even today just about being wary of that, You know, not wanting to be one of those teams to, 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 to go down to a high seed? Yeah, we don't talk a whole lot about things like that. We, we focus on our daily habits, the things we do in practice every day, and we know that if we keep our focus there, um, and play our best, that things will work themselves out. So we, um, we're very focused on what's in front of us. Certainly have a lot of respect for the Jackrabbit program and Coach Henderson. And yet at the same time, our guys have done a great job of focusing on the things that we work on every single day and worrying about only what we can control, not the things that we can't. In the back left, uh, Greg Eklund for AP Broadcast, and this is for Curtis. Curtis, you guys had a lot to celebrate last Sunday, and how much coming out of the gate in the manner in which you did, was that a reflection of the reset over the last several days since dun, uh, Sunday? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. We always want to come out uh, fast, you know, any game we play. So I think it was just a testament, you know, to the first five guys out there, um, there them being locked in getting stops and getting out in transition. That's something that we want to do, you know, when we start every game. So I just say, yeah, that's it. Right here. Uh, for the two players, both of you guys shot the ball pretty well from the perimeter tonight. Um, you know, you obviously did in the Big 12 tournament as well. What do you guys credit that to um, as you guys have started to shoot a ball at a really important time of the year? Milan, start us off, please. I would give credit to all my guards, um, Keyshawn, Tam, and Kurt. They give me a lot of the open shots. And then I would give credit to my big, big, big guys, um, Trey King and Rob Jones and Haas. They sent me a lot of flare screens, pin downs, and then the guards just find me. And I just got to keep shooting with confidence and being aggressive. Yeah, um, off what Milan said, pretty much the same thing. The bigs, you know, they're always looking to um, get us open shots. And then Tam and Key, Milan. Everybody looking for us to shoot the ball, and they got 100% confidence in us and want us shooting the ball. So when you got guys on the team that don't care and, you know, want you to shoot, that, that gives you even more confidence in your shots. We are under five minutes to go. We have two questions up. Go, please. Logan Shanks, the Iowa State Daily. Coach, Keyshawn and Taman have run the floor really well whole, the whole season, but they had 12 of the 23 assists tonight. How big is that for them to continue doing that in the postseason? Yeah, it's really important. I think, like these guys said, um, they set the tone, they push the break, they look for their teammates, they get in the paint. Uh, it's awesome to have multiple playmakers. We've got a lot of point guards on the court at one time, a lot of guys that can make plays. And those guys continue to do a great job attacking the paint, attacking in transition, and looking for their teammates and making plays. <coughs> Question for the two players. It's both of you guys' first year in the program, and watching you guys play on defense, the intensity you play with, and then how much you move on offense, has it taken you time to, to grow into, to, to have the energy to play that hard on both sides of the floor? Is that something that you've got more comfortable with moving on in this season? Curtis, you're first this time. Yeah, I say it has uh, gotten better throughout the season, but we've did it every day since June, and. You know, when you do something every day and just rev it out, rev it out, you get really good at it. So I think we're starting to see the uh, benefits of that right now. Yeah, for me, it was definitely an adjustment. Um, just coming from high school, it's a whole different level here at the Division One level. Um, but it's a standard that the coaches hold me to, um, to just be good on the defense end and be good on the offense end at the same time. Anything else for the Cyclones of Iowa State? They'll play the winner of Drake and with, uh, with uh, Washington State in the next game. In the second game on Saturday, times to be announced. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you.